Hello and welcome to our SU TV live post-match show. Sheffield United have only gone and got their first league win of the season. A huge 6-2 scoreline against Peterborough United. No one in the studio can actually wipe the smiles off of their faces. I'm joined by Brian Dean and Kevin Gage. What a game to get us back, back underway. Hey, hey Brian. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a great game to watch. You know, when you think about how, the t how it's tr contrasted to the first few games we've had down here, you know, everybody was playing with a smile on their face. You know, some of the movement was fantastic. The pleasing thing from my point of view is that we played a little bit more direct in terms of we went across the pitch less and tried to look into the space going forward. And I think that contributed to us feeling a lot more positive. Everybody was on their front foot. And uh, yeah, we, we brought in two players, um, Ndai and um, Morgan Gibbs. Morgan, Morgan Gibbs, well, I'm not used to these double, <laughs> triple barrel names. Um, but in those two players, you've got players who can do little things on an individual basis, which helps the team to be a little bit more fluid and a little less predictable. And Kev, I mean, at half time, it was 1 0. No one really knew what was going to happen. We just knew that we were in for an exciting second half. You just couldn't turn away, could you? The whole game was fabulous, wasn't it? Yeah, even though we <clears throat> conceded, you know, just for half time, we, did, we didn't deserve to concede. We were by far the better side in that first half. And it's just, it just gives the whole club a massive, massive lift. And people all around the world will be looking at that result and going, wow, Chef United might, might have started something, you know. So as Brian said, yeah, just, just a great performance all round. Sometimes you get a, a different perception of the game when you see six goals scored. But today, we generally deserve to score all of those goals and probably a few more. Yeah. It's no exaggerating to say we could have had seven or eight or nine goals there. We played that well, especially going forward. We, we were absolutely sublime going forward with some of our cutting edge play and our little balls into the box and down the channels. It was absolutely superb to watch. Vintage Chef United, you know, what we've been seeing down here for the past three, four seasons. You said on commentary, <clears> actually, it felt like Sheffield United were back. They're back in business almost. New faces, I guess, comes new confidence. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, the, w I think the manager's got to take a lot of credit for that because he's, he's, been, he's been banging on in interviews and, and, uh, and on TV and, and little snippets and reports. He's been installing, trying to install confidence in the players and trying to give them a positive uh, mindset. And he hasn't really dabbled with formations or tactics too much. He's just been saying to the players, you are good players, you know, go out there and show it. Obviously, a new face is in the side of as freshens things up. And wow, did they perform today. Because, you know, as has been already mentioned, Ndai and, and the new lad, uh, Gibbs White, fantastic performances. Ndai especially. I think he brought a different dimension to us. Little tricks and flicks and little balls yeah. down the side. And, and his finishing, wow, that's, that's some finishing that. He did really, it really felt like he was communicating with the fans mm. as well today. Even when he came off, he was putting his hands up. He was acknowledging what that moment meant to him. And he was getting such a brilliant response from everyone here at Bramwell Lane, wasn't he? Listen, it's about characters. And this boy's got a little bit of something about him. He believes in himself. But these are the kind of players that the fans want to engage with. You know, they want to be taken on the journey by him. You know, and I've seen him for the first time today and his footwork was fantastic. You know, it takes a lot for me to get excited about people. But when I see an individual performance like that from a young man who's making his debut, it makes me very excited about seeing him in the next game. The footwork was good, the flicks, the new little tricks, it just kept everyone on their toes. Kev, you kept saying in commentary that the crossing, you were so impressed with the crossing today. The crossing was on a different level than I've done anything I've seen for a long, long time down here from both sides, just beautifully flighted crosses and at the right time. Um, yeah, it's been so poor our crossing for a long, long time, but yeah, I mean, the, but the, it was, it was uh, indicative of our whole performance. There was quality all around the pitch. Yeah, we mentioned the crossing, the shots were going on target, the little balls through, you know, down the side of the defenders were, were nicely weighted. Talking about Ndai and the new lad, uh, Gibbs White, just the ball from Ndai where he set him up for the shot. It was a perfectly weighted pass. And it's those little uh, details that are so, so important. 
it was just it was just superb to watch and what a relief to be sitting <laughs> sitting here talking positively about the side morgan congratulations on your first league win of the season your debut and your goal pretty good day at the office wasn't it yeah really good day at the office uh, it's a pleasure to come uh, to come here and play at bramble lane you know when i first stepped out here uh, just before kick off the fans were electric and it got me ready for the game straight away um, and I think them three points is what, what we needed um, you know, to, to kick on the season and I feel like uh, we needed them three points to take into Tuesday against Preston. We definitely needed those three points, definitely. Uh, you just mentioned the fans there, how amazing did it feel walking out of Bramwell Lane and then getting the win as well? Yeah, like I said, it's electric here um, <clears throat> and especially the way the boys played, you know, I feel like it boosted the fans even more. Um, we were unlucky to to, go, to, to concede one goal um, in the first half, um, but you know mistakes happen. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was an unbelievable performance from the boys, and to score six goals, I think it's just what we needed to kick on the season. And of course, you got the you got your debut goal. It was amazing. Just talk us through talk us through what happened. Uh, so me and Illy, uh we've been linking up all week in training and stuff um, and when we found out we were both starting we were, we were buzzing and um, obviously I got the assist for his goal and then he got me uh, the assist for, for my goal so I was buzzing that he went in um, I had one uh, a couple of minutes earlier and I should have scored that one so when I, when, I, when I took the shot I was like this one has to go in and luckily enough it went in the top corner. <laughs> it felt like um, Illiman had scored and you thought to yourself I can't let him I can't just let him get one, I've got to get one as well. <laughs> so uh, it feels like you two have a really nice partnership and obviously Slavisha picked up on that. Yeah, uh, like I said, from, from the get-go, from when I first came here, we linked up in training really well and I feel like it showed in the game. Uh, but he's such a talented player and it was a pleasure to work with him. Um, and like you've seen, our connection on the pitch is, is already strong. So. Let's hope, let's hope it continues. I know the, the, fan, the fans are definitely excited to see what you two bring to the future games. Um, but also, Illiman did get, he got two in the end. <laughs> he yeah. did beat you by one, but I mean, it's no competition. Illiman, yeah. he, um, he obviously did get the two goals. He must be really pleased. I know he took a bit of a knock. Is he OK? Yeah, bless him. He just, he just got a, a little bit of cramp. Um, he was screaming, laughing, crying. Oh, bless him. <laughs> when he had the cramp. Um, but no, he's a pleasure. He's a pleasure to play with, and it, it makes your game easier, you know. Um, but like I said, I'm just delighted we got the three points. Obviously, I'm I'm happy I got my goal. Um, but more importantly, we got the three points, and we can take that into Tuesday. Slavisha Okanovic, you did mention that that was a pull to the club. Um, How has it been with uh, training with him? And he must be really pleased as well. Have you had time to speak to him yet? Yeah, um, when we went into the dressing room, dress room just, uh, he was delighted, you know. Um, but the main thing he said, he wants to take this performance into the rest of the games coming up now. Um, and I feel like we can definitely build on this game and take it into Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, he was delighted with our, with our performance and we've just got to keep going now. Great to catch up with Morgan after the game. Lovely of him to take the time to talk to us here on SU TV Live. Brian, he was a star today, wasn't he? Yeah, I really enjoyed watching him. But I think having listened to him before the game and, and talking about how much confident he, confidence he had in his own ability, I thought to myself, OK, let's see what he's got. And, and to be fair to him, you know, he stepped up. He's a um, very confident young lad. But that's the kind of player we need down here. Um, you know, I, I've watched some of the performances have been a bit like, well, we're not sure. You know, sometimes you've got to, you've got to take the ball by the horns. Um, I thought it was electric. It, you know, his link-up plays, involvements, they were all they were all superb. You know, he, he, he's spoken about, you know, the relationship that he has with, with players and so on. And I think that's, that's very important, you know, because whatever you think about what he's done, it will have an effect in the changing rooms. You know, there'll be other players thinking, well, I want some of that now. It lift. It will lift the, um, you know, lift the performances of those players, and it will make it more competitive in the changing rooms because they know now. <laughs> you know, there, there's, you know, there's some nice things ahead. 
potentially. I mean, as soon as he walked into the studio, that confidence is is there. It's like his aura. As soon as he, someone steps into the room, and that's exactly what we need on the field. That confidence that is just going to, I mean, spread to all the other players. Yeah, and we spoke about it in the pre-match show, didn't we? We said that they haven't got any baggage on them. They've got no hangover from last season. They obviously haven't been here for the first five games where it's, it's been fairly frustrating. So he's come in completely fresh. He's just played with the freedom and the, and, the, and the flair that he naturally has. I mentioned before the game that he said he's the fittest and the strongest that he's been in, but he certainly looks like a good athlete. Uh, and he's got the technical ability to go with it. So as Brian says, it's going to raise everybody's game, just in general, all around the team. And it was noticeable that Fleck was brilliant today. It's absolutely superb. More like the John Fleck that we've seen in the past three years. We did hope that these new players were going to raise everyone's game and that's mm. exactly what happened it's yeah. that quality that's been injected into the side now and it's just made everyone take a step back and reevaluate mm. their own performances absolutely 100 percent. and i think some of them will start to remember all of a sudden that last year they were playing premier league football you know and, and that's important that everybody starts thinking have a different mindset and starts thinking okay well you know we should be challenging now we you know there isn't there or there shouldn't be anybody in this league who we fear yes it was peterborough but at the same time it's a performance that i don't think there'll be better performance in the championship than that one today in terms of how we set out how how the interactions between the players were and the goals were fantastic mm -hmm. as well both of those names uh sean I guess they stuck out on the team yeah. sheet, on the team news, in the build-up show. Mm -hmm. That's Morgan and uh, Illiman. He said to me just then that he feels like they do have a really good relationship on field. Slavisha must have seen that in training and then they've just shown that to the fans here at Bramall Lane. Yeah, I don't know how much training they've done together. Probably, you know, maybe a couple of days, you know, tops maybe, I don't know. Mm. But um, yeah, they, they, you can see them working together. But the way Illiman and I played today, he, he was bringing everybody into the game. I mean, it, 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 it sounds like we're not even, it sounds like we're getting a bit over the top with our praise, but as Brian said, that performance was off the scale. It was so, so good, I can't begin to tell you. Um, and yeah, the six goals, everybody thinks six goals, yeah, it's great, but sometimes you score six goals and they're lucky goals and you know, there's a couple of shots going, a couple of deflections and you've got six goals. But we could have had seven or eight today. And the quality of our interplay to, to create those chances was just a different level than anything we've seen for a long, long time down here. And, and Billy Sharp, of course, he was on the starting uh, sheet. And quite more often than not, we see him finishing the games. But he seemed to be everywhere, didn't he, Brian? Yeah, Billy was the catalyst for me. You know, he, he had a couple of assists today. But um, it was his running and his understanding of you know, how to stretch the game, why we stretch the game, um, that created the chances for the, for the boys behind him. Um, and sometimes you have to play the, the supporting role. And I, and I thought he was, you know, he, he was all, you know, he was the experience. He was a father figure on the pitch that I think we've not had at times. He was the leader, you know, in that, in that forward line. We talked about that, that relationship where they, they want to be playing with freedom but without having somebody like Billy to direct proceedings, that wouldn't have happened. So I'm really glad that, you know, we scored six goals and Billy hasn't scored because it shows a confidence in everybody else that, OK, if Billy doesn't score, we've got goals everywhere else, mm. in, in other positions as well. We've got other options and that's yeah. exactly what we're going to need, especially when our next league game is on Tuesday. We, I mean, we've got five, another five games this month, Kev. I'm, I mean, you're, that seat is going to be still warm by the time you get back, isn't it? What do, you, what do you hope to see from our side then on Tuesday, especially after that? Well, it's easy to get carried away, isn't it? And <laughs> say, we well, well we're going to thrash Preston 6 7 nil. You know, <laughs> It doesn't usually work out like that football. I, mean, I don't know how many shots we've had today, but it must be, it must be close to 25, 30 efforts have gone and six have gone in. Now, we might have 25 on Tuesday and you know, none will go in or one will go in. We might have to scrape a one-nil win, but it's irrelevant. It, we, we've got off the mark. Everybody at the club feels a lot happier, I'm sure. Um, the crowd will be up for it Tuesday. It'll be under the lights Tuesday evening down here. It, Bramall Lane is a fabulous place for an evening game of football. And the players will go into it with a huge amount of confidence, buoyant after this result today. 
<coughs> and I, th I fully expect us to push on and, and, and do the business on Tuesday night. Well, thank you both for your thoughts this afternoon. It's been fantastic watching our fir first league win beside you both. Um, and of course, like we just mentioned, we've got our next league game on Tuesday. That kicks off at 7.45 against Preston North End right here at Bramall Lane. Now, you'll find everything you need right here on SUTV Live.